Hey guys, so this is part two of our Christmas decorating outdoors and it's pretty exciting because uh, these are the final touches we like to do here in the house. Which is our favorite part, hanging the wreaths on the windows, the out, you know outdoor windows. Um, and we had a lot of questions um, on how do we hang the wreaths on the, on the two-story. Um, yeah, so it, it might not be a question that comes up a lot, but it often came up when we put these wreaths up. And on I, the I, floor. I felt really silly about it, you know, when we got here. Um, house is red, so I was all like, "Yay, Christmas!" But yeah. how are we going? You know, why are we getting such a tall ladder? <laughs> and Amber just gave me that look, like she just had a moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we don't own a ladder that's taller than five feet because this is not a permanent home, and we only need to get up to a couple of different. But places. there's no need for a ladder, you know. Um, that right away clicked to in my head, you know, and Ambrose explained, made sure that yep. I knew that there was no need for a ladder. <laughs> so on this video, we're gonna show you how we actually put them on the second story windows and what we used to do it, um, because again, that was a question that came up often. And what we use are these uh, suction cups. Now they sell these in five pounds and seven pounds. So if you have a much bigger wreath, you're gonna wanna use the seven pound to hold that up there. Um, I know we, experimented with the uh, stickies before the stickies. now if you live in an area like we do where it rains all the time and it's windy all the time those stickies are gonna get wet and they're just gonna come off it, it didn't work for us at this house the past house it did because it was under a porch so they were protected because of the porch yeah but here it's you know everything's hitting it though the wind and rain and you know snow whatever comes through the winter and they stay on there yeah. and that's another thing I wanted to tell you about the wind um, it, <laughs> We never had one fall at yeah. all last year, so they're really good ones to yeah. um, the, the suction cups. But make sure that your wreaths, everything on there is very secure, the decorations on them, because you don't want to be running around picking that up. Um, yeah. I was, I made sure um, last year that everything was on there secure. I did as well this year. So, so a, a couple other few things we're actually going to do as well is uh, Angie finished up the bows on the garden yes. there. Um, so she's on pretty the rail. Set. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ambrose helped. Um, um, one of our daughters helped too. It, just simple, cute little bows. Yep. You'll get to see them in a little bit. And then possibly move around the reindeer. Um, not sure yet because we just put them out there that day just to see how they look. Uh, but they may stay, but we'll get some shots of all that at the end of this video to show you guys what it's going to look like all lit up at night and what it looks like in the day as well. It never ends, guys. I'll probably be out here moving things around like a million times all through, through Christmas. Yep. So, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys how we're hanging these wreaths on the windows and specifically the second floor window and then we'll come back at the end and then uh, show you everything and how it looks like. Alright guys, so we have a total of five wreaths we have to put up on the house here. Three that go upstairs, but here are the wreaths that we are going to be using. These are not live, uh, they're not cuttings, they're actually faux wreaths that we're going to be putting up here. We put some bows on them and we're going to put three of them up here on the second floor. We're going to show you guys how we're going to put them on the window there. Now it's a little bit bright in here, but uh, we're going to try to do the best that we can to show you guys exactly how we're putting them on the outside of this window. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to clean your windows. Uh, we did the best that we could, but um, we put it all back together so you guys can see the whole process of how we're getting it out there. So again, we have our wreaths here. First thing you want to do is kind of measure out where you want to put this. I know it's a little bit bright up here, but we want to kind of center right there. So I'm kind of marking out where I actually want that suction cup to go to hold that wreath in that spot. And it's going to be right around that spot there. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just opening up this window. And this is the uh, probably the most confusing part is getting these screens to come out. Push the curtain to the side because they can't see this one. All right, so now that I got my window open, um, you I took marked, the screen off, right? Yep, we took the screen off, and I marked the spot, the spot where I wanted it at. So it's about right there. So it's hanging right dead center with the whole window there. Did you wet the suction cup or? I did, I did wet the suction cup before I put it on there. So it's pretty moist there. It's holding, as you can see, I'm pulling on it and it's not coming off at all. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I have my bowl centered and then I'm hooking it right to that hook on the suction cup there. 
Now these are battery powered lights on the wreaths and we absolutely love the way they look at night. So we're actually gonna have to come up here again once it starts getting dark at the time that we actually wanna set it. So we can turn these on and they're going all on at the same time. They last about, what, six hours? Yeah, they run for about six hours. Now the one thing you wanna do with these right here is you wanna make sure you tuck it into a spot where it's not gonna show on the outside, but also where it's gonna hold and not dangle or fall because then uh, you have the issue of the wire maybe breaking or the battery or this thing just completely falling down and not working anymore. But that's pretty much it guys. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the screen back on this window. Very delicately, because we don't want it to uh, fly outside. And we shut our window and and that's it. That's it. Now those wreaths, we bought those a couple of years back at Michael's. Yep, we bought also. these all at Michael's. Um, we put the lights on there ourselves. Obviously, those are the battery-powered LEDs. But we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the wreaths on so you can see from the outside what it actually looks like. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. Falling in love. Okay, so I got two more wreaths to go. Angie's behind the camera there uh, making fun of me because we had a little bit of a, a slight accident putting up one of the uh, the wreaths, so. <laughs> so Ambrose dropped oh, a wreath. It actually looks pretty though. Look. And he broke, he you, you broke yeah. my hydrangeas. Great job. I think she posted like maybe three or four photos already on Instagram just making fun of me. But um, either way, we're going to do these last two. Um, put these on the bottom windows here. Um, one thing I want to remind you is don't forget to fluff the bow because that's very important. Summer ended, but we did not. We started something, this thing that we got grew stronger. Each day, we're together. On the way, on the way. So that's it for the uh, wreaths. We'll get a quick shot of what they all look like on the house. Um, but yes, the bow, very important to fluff that because you want it to look nice. You don't want to put the ones upstairs and then have to um, open the window back up and then, you know. Have to redo everything. Have to redo everything. But so make sure you time it right. Yeah. Where, the time that you want it to turn back on. Yeah, so that was one thing we did last year was we, uh, for the purpose of the video, we're doing it right now, but last year we waited till it was getting dark and we turned them all on at once and just hung them back. Um, that way they were all in sync when they turned on at night. Um, but let's uh, show you some of the other stuff. Uh, we might move the reindeer still, not sure yet, um, but we'll get all that lit up and then show you pieces of the garland where Angie uh, put the... I'm not done yet. Oh, there's, not... I, there's always things going on. You know, I always change a couple of things here and there. And yep. We'll be taking walks of during all this time in winter so y'all can see what's going on still with the other yeah, plant the, trees. The one thing I do want to show you on the uh, on the garden on the stair, though, is uh, Angie added some cedar cuttings and some juniper berries to that as well. Yeah. Uh, and then we added the bowls, like I said, at the last, uh, you know, once we were done with that. I'm happy with it right now. I'm excited and happy because the wreaths are on there. I always feel that this house... It's just perfect for the wreaths to go up and I hope that we can take a shot from far away. Yeah. I always do that around this time of year because it just looks like it, it looks so pretty like a Christmas yeah. card picture. So 
we'll see if we can take that shot later on. Yep. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the video. We hope you enjoyed seeing us put our wreaths up and finishing off these Christmas decorations because it absolutely looks amazing uh, once it's all lit up at night and with this red house, it just absolutely brings it to life. So it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's an awesome time of year. We yeah. get to enjoy it, get to uh, enjoy this winter coldness. Angie's a uh, penguin, I'm not. Um, I don't I like love the cold the weather. Cold. <laughs> but uh, again, that's gonna do it for the video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays, guys. Ended, but we did not. We started something, this thing that we got grew stronger. Each day, we're together. On the way, oh, we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. Christmas time's got the best of me Then it starts to snow in our hearts We both know that we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear We're falling in love It's true this part of the year Has something in store for us That's right.